Hey there, viewers, and welcome to uh, yet another video or video studio. This time we're covering into Bear. Uh, as you see, I go under Team Explorer and select Build. Then here you give me option. You can go to New Build Definition, or you can choose to edit the Build Definition. Just click on New Build Definition or edit it. You will be given this tab you'll be given here. Now here, what you can do is you could type the name, the, the name of the bill, and there's an option for the queue posting. Here, next, we'll go under the trigger, and you can go under menu, just, you don't, tr check in, do not trigger a new bill, go to continue integration, every time you check in, your bill. Hence for continues. We'll go rolling bread, so, if it so happened to fail, it would just wall back. That's walling, wall back. Till you get the last one that actually pass. Then you get the gate to check in. in. It's only accept if you merge and build successfully. Or you do a nice schedule build. Uh, the reason we had schedule is we don't want to be building too much on a large project. That would be bad. So, under under important business, we need to consider those. Next, we'll go to source setting, and um, that is where we do there's the agent photo. And by the way, you need a build, you need age a build agent, and for that you need an online. You need to create a team, and you need to have that. You need to have build controller, a host of build controller. You'll be giving station location. Don't do under the source control folder. If you do not have an online, you do not create a team, like I said before, you cannot do the build. And if you're not, if you don't own it, you're just part of the team, you need a build permission. Last time I done it, I do not have a permission, therefore I cannot build. And now we're heading to the most important bit is the process. And this is the this is the main mixing, the operation for the build. We'll be giving a default template. You can create the template, bit complex, but we're only going to basic. You go configuration, configure it, normally debug, platform, select what you want. We do any CPU. And we have to basic automated tests. We normally do under the, the test, DDLL. We normally do that. And we have all the other stuff, format, clean, what's big, larger, uh, property, analyst. And we'll be giving source and similar sort of setting, more complex. This will just basically, for automated tests, this will basically just run all the tests. And we have the advanced. And the body, you need to pay a question for this. If you do not, yeah, I think you need to pay a subscription. You have to pay something in order to use them. But yeah, you're borrowing the machine, you're borrowing the, the service, you're bargaining with your machine, and you need to borrow them. This bill does take time to bring on the project to cost money. And the bigger the project, the more they need, the more expense you get. That's why the trigger is so important, must. And with the attention policy, that's a machine that is how much you want to keep. You have stop, fail, partial success, success. Under business again, you need to consider carefully. Um, so that I hope that was clear up much, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I take it you did. I hope I get my best speaking. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing more for you and speak out more. It'd be a nice experience. So for now, please wait, subscribe, and come on my video. See you next video.